Welcome back. Now that we know how to navigate Classroom, let's take a closer look at how to open and edit a document. First select an assignment, and then select the document that is attached. This will open it to a new page where I will be able to view the document, but I will not be able to edit the document. In order to do that, I must select the pen up in the top right hand corner. In order to manipulate the page, you must use two fingers. This will allow us to zoom in, zoom out, or to change the page by clicking the right arrow or left arrow. Additionally, we see at the bottom of the page a variety of tools. This includes an eraser, a pen, marker, highlighter, and text box. If I double click on the tool, I have the ability to change colors and to change the size at which I am writing. The first question on this assignment asks students to define the word embezzled. We can use the tools from the toolbar to help us complete this task. We can highlight the sentence using the word embezzled, change the color of the highlighter in order to highlight the sentence that gives us a context clue, and circle the word that best defines embezzled. We can now use two fingers to zoom out and click the arrow on the right side. On the next page, we can select our pen and circle the correct answer. I would suggest that students save the page often. They can do this by saving in the top right hand corner. It will take a moment for the document to be converted to an edited PDF. Once you have saved, you can access the edited PDF by clicking the X and clicking on the Your Work tab at the bottom. You'll notice that the PDF now says Edited. If we go back to the assignment page, the original attachment is still there. It will not save your work to this attachment. You must go to the Your Work tab and click on the Edited Assignment in order to open your child's work. It is important to point out that once your child saves their work, they will not be able to use the eraser tool in order to erase their previous work. In order to overcome this, we can change the color of our pen to white and create a whiteout tool. I can now go back to my work and erase my choice before selecting a new answer. When I'm finished, I will save my work. When you have completed the assignment and are ready to turn it in, select the assignment name, click the Your Work tab, and click the Turn In button. If you need to add an attachment such as a Google Doc or a picture, click Add Attachment, select from the options, and then click the picture that you would like to submit. After a moment, it will attach the picture, and you'll be prepared to turn it in. At the bottom, you'll see that it says assignment has been turned in. If you need to edit the page, you can unsubmit the assignment here, or where the turn in button was. After the teacher has graded the assignment, you can view the grade by clicking on the assignment name or by clicking the three lines in the top left hand corner, going to the to-do list, and then clicking on done. You can see here that I received a 10 out of 10 on the assignment. I can also check the edited document to see if the teacher made any comments. In this case, I received one comment, great use of context clues. As a final note, please remember that not all teachers will upload grades on Classroom. Some will choose to upload grades directly to PowerSchool. For this reason, it is important that parents occasionally check PowerSchool for updates. Thank you again for joining me. I hope that you found this video helpful.